Father, we pray that the ministry of your word this morning would speak to our hearts, that we would rest in Christ and his provision of salvation alone, and trust in him, and walk with him. And we pray that you would help us to abandon faith in this world order, its uh, systems, its uh, belief systems. Help us to trust alone in you as you, you reveal yourself in your word. We pray, Lord, for many in this world that they would take heed to the message of the prophet and turn from this world city and enter into that heavenly city through Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Let's respond to uh, God's lordship of us by bringing to you our morning tithes and offerings. <laughs> I will clothe his enemies with shame. 
let's approach the Lord in prayer and confess to Him our sins and then receive His word of pardon. Let's pray. We thank you, O God, for your mercies to us. We thank you for the great work of redemption that you've accomplished in Jesus for us. We thank you that he is, in fact, the descendant of David of which this psalm speaks, who has been exalted on high and rules over all. We thank you that he rules over us. We acknowledge that he is worthy of our love, of our faith. He is worthy of our prayers and service. We pray that you forgive us for where we fall far short in our service to him. Forgive us, Lord, for our weakness and our sins. Uh, grant us grace to love and serve you as we ought, and also to love and serve one another. We pray for the forgiveness of our many sins. We rest not in our own righteousness, but only in the righteousness of Christ alone. And so we ask for your forgiveness through Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. We are reminded of the, Lord, of the Lord's forgiveness in these words from Psalm 116. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. The Lord has heard our cry for mercy. And so, in proper response, we turn to him and call on him as long as we live. Let's then go to the Lord and pray for his blessings in our lives.